This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm RTV6's Meredith Barrick with the news you need to know today. We begin with the forecast from meteorologist Todd Clausen. It's another day we'll be dealing with heat and humidity here across central Indiana. Temperatures should climb into the mid 80s. The humidity, though, makes it feel like it's in the low 90s. And with that heat and humidity, there will be the chance of an isolated downpour this afternoon. But no widespread rain is expected in the forecast. Bulldozers tearing down tents and hauling away belongings at a homeless camp along the White River. Indianapolis leaders say it's part of a necessary cleanup operation. Officials say the shelters, along with trash buildup and illegal dumping, are a threat to the levee, an essential flood protection structure for the city. People who live there say they understand why it was necessary, but say it could have been handled in a different way. A city spokeswoman says people living there were given two weeks notice. She says they were also given storage and shelter options. The city has undertaken an initiative to raise $4 million to sustain permanent housing for people experiencing homelessness. Some firefighters in Zionsville saved a life thanks to an alert neighbor and special equipment for pets. A person bicycling nearby noticed a fire at a home on Iron Gate Drive Wednesday morning. Crews rescued a cat inside the house and used an oxygen mask to help her catch her breath. The battle over e-cigarettes in Carmel remains on hold. On Wednesday, a city council committee postponed a vote that would ban the use of e-cigarettes in many public places. The committee also delayed the vote earlier this month. This week, San Francisco became the first major city in the U.S. to ban e-cigarette use. For more news you need to know, you can visit the IndieChannel.com or download the RTV6 app on your mobile device or streaming services.